before we open our Bibles this morning, uh, just, just a couple things in the news this week. Uh, Jim Barry just reminded me that there's a congressman here in Arizona named Andy Biggs. He's not in our district. I think he's down by Tucson. I'm not sure. But, you know, remember President Trump said, we're going to build the wall, we're going to have Mexico pay for it. Yes. Right? Yes. Well, Andy Biggs has an idea. He goes, I'm going to put a bill before Congress that says that every country that allows their people to sneak in. Now, now we have legal ways to come in, right? Yes. If they sneak in, which think about that. If you're sneaking in, you're invading a nation. Yes. Right? right? Just just try sneaking into Canada. You'll find yourself in the Huskow real quick. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If the mountain doesn't shoot you. Right? Yeah. But he said, so every country that allows for people to sneak in, because we, first of all, I don't know why we do this, we give mil billions of dollars in, in uh, foreign aid. Countries all over the world. Right. We got enough problems right here. What are we doing giving them money? Exactly. What? Exactly. Yeah, let's fix our own potholes, our own airports and streets and right? Yeah. They don't take care of themselves. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But for whatever reason, sounds like a Democrat thing to me, but they give all these billions of dollars away. So anything says, you know, okay, that's what we'll do. However much we're supposed to give you next year, in Mexico, we're gonna take away two thousand dollars per person. For every person you let come in illegal. Praise God. Yay. <laughs> so, and he goes, and there's our money to build the wall. Yeah. Yeah, wow. exactly. And it makes people pay for it. Yeah, so, people pay for it. I don't know if they'll pass it, but I was just saying to Jim, let him put it into a bill, let it be brought to the floor, and let's see who votes for it, who votes for this. Get him on the record. Amen. 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 Great idea, Andy yeah. Um yeah. Also, uh, Sister Mary sent me an email. And, um, this week, we've been talking about the social media giants. We've got Facebook, Google, YouTube, and Twitter. Now, all four of them are racist and bigoted and biased and discriminatory against Christians. I say racist because especially if you're a black Christian. They hate you. And there is a, a black brother on YouTube that I love. He calls himself Dr. Common Sense. <laughs> yeah. And he's radical, man. But why is he radical? Because he's a Bible believer. Uh, yeah, yeah. And he tells it like it is. Amen. Plain spoken. Right? Mm -hmm. Clean. Right? Doesn't cuss. Doesn't doesn't uh, uh, threaten to kill people. Doesn't doesn't uh, air pornography. Uh, no, why am I? Because that's all the stuff that's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Pornography's on YouTube. People on YouTube say they're going to kill people. Right. Uh, people on YouTube say they do all kind of vile things. They don't shut their channels down, right? People that are anti-Semitic, they don't shut their channels down. So I'm looking for this video from Doctor Mister from Doctor Common says I can't find it. I'm searching. I can't find it. All of a sudden, the thing pops up. Dr. Common says it's been banned from you. It's a video by him that somebody else put up for him. They, they closed his channel down. Why? Because he's a black Christian who speaks out. And they can't stand it. Same reason Facebook shut down Diamond and Silk. The two African American girls who were pro Trump. Oh, by the way, Dr. Common Sense was vehemently pro Trump. Yeah. That's why they hate. Yeah. Diamond and Silk, adamantly pro Trump. Yeah. Facebook shut their page down. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this can't be. This is America. Especially when these platforms claim to be free speech platforms. They cannot discriminate against you and me because we're Christian. It must stop, and it must stop now. Amen. Amen. Now there's another Christian. He's also, I don't always agree with everything Alex Jones says. I'll be the first to say that. I don't agree with everything that Alex Jones says. But you know what? He has a First Amendment right to voice his opinion and his views on anything and everything he wants to voice them on. 
This week, in a coordinated attack, YouTube and Facebook, they've got nothing to do with each other, but this week, they got together and in a coordinated attack in one day, took his Facebook page down and his YouTube channel down. So Alex Jones is calling for a congressional hearing. To which I say amen. Yeah, there needs to be a, con a congressional hearing about what YouTube and Google and Twitter, we talked about the Twitter, sh Twitter shadow banning that they've been doing, blocking conservative Christian con top content without the Christian knowing, without the, without the top four people in the Republican Party knowing they were banned, they would go on Twitter and post their tweet and they would send it and they would think it was sent, but Twitter behind the scenes blocked it so it didn't go to any of their followers and didn't get disseminated about. That is criminal. Yes, it is. You cannot do that. Prager Youth is an Orthodox Jew. Dennis Prager has a great, uh, great videos that again speak the truth. See, anything that speaks truth, they hate. Because they are of their father, the devil, who is a liar from the beginning, and everything they say is a lie. The liberals and the Democrats, and, and, and that's all they know how to speak. And anybody who stands up for God and for truth and for righteousness, they call it hate speech because we call it the truth. It's the truth. It's not hate speech. It's not hate speech. It's the truth. Prager you has... Many, 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 the majority of their videos on YouTube have been demonetized. There's another guy named Michael Brown. He's a Jewish Christian. Mm -hmm. He's got a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. They've demonetized the majority of his videos as well. Got to be a congressional hearing into this. Yes, we the church are not going to put up with this. Right. We the church of the living God right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I call for every CEO of every company to be yeah. dismissed from his position for their discrimination against Christians, yeah. for their racism against black Christians, for their discrimination against Christians. Their bigotry will not be tolerated in America. This is not Russia. This is not China. This is not Cuba. This is the United States of America where we have a First Amendment guarantee to the freedom of the Christian religion and freedom of speech and therefore they have violated our First Amendment rights. They do not have the right to do that in a public platform which is what their business models are. Therefore we demand they be fired or resigned or fired. And we demand Christians take over those companies and run them giving honor to Christians and to biblical truth in the name of Jesus. And until they do that and until they repent, may they be exposed for their sin and may their companies tank financially. Amen. In Jesus' name, to you, you repent, you too. Google, Twitter, and Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg, you communist. Why don't you get on a boat and go to China? Go to Venezuela, Mark Zuckerberg. You want everybody, you want to redistribute wealth? Go down to Venezuela and see how that works. Socialist communist. Thought you were smart. I thought you went to Harvard. You're so stupid, you don't even understand that socialism and communism doesn't work. It destroys a culture. It destroys an economy. Look at Russia. Look at Cuba. Look at Venezuela. You morons. Yeah, that's right. Little idiot Cortez brought out in New York. Pastor, how about uh, that lady that's running this? She, uh, that's what I just said, Cortez. Cortez? Cortez? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so the woman has an IQ of five. <laughs> All you gotta do is ask her any, you know, explain the difference between capitalism and socialism and why you think socialism is better than capitalism, why you're against capitalism. She like starts convulsing. <laughs> Green foam comes out of her mouth. Ben Shapiro. My daughter loves Ben Shapiro. He's an Orthodox Jew. God save these Orthodox Jews. Save Ben Shapiro, Jesus. Let him come to faith in you. Save Dennis Prager, Lord. Yes. The, 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 you know, Jewish people are blessed of God and are really smart. Ben Shapiro is a young guy. He's an Orthodox Jew. And he's, of course, extremely conservative, right? 
And he's a capitalist, of course. If you have any brains, you're a capitalist, not a communist. Right? And so he's challenged Cortez, the socialist, to a debate. This week, he says, I will give $10,000 to your charity of your choice. I will give you to your campaign. I'll give you 10000 cold hard cash if you'll debate me socialism versus capitalism. She won't do it. She won't do it. She won't do it. She accused him of catcalling her. <laughs> what, that doesn't even make any sense. He wants to debate you, sweetheart, on the issues. He's not whistling at you, Cortez, although you'd probably like it if he did. He's not whistling at you, honey. He's asking you to stand on the stage and debate the issues. You're chicken, aren't you, Cortez? Aren't you? Whatever your name is. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I love it. We will win. Amen. 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 They've already lost. They've already lost. Amen? They've already lost. They just won't go away. Did you hear Rudy Giuliani? No. I always call it Giuliani, but Sean Hannity says Giuliani. So maybe that's the right way to say it. Rudy Giuliani goes, let me tell you something. This Mueller investigation, it's not going to fizzle out. It's going to blow up in their faces. In the book of Esther, as Haman, the evil Christ-hater, Jew-hater Haman, built the gallows and hung the noose to hang Mordecai, God's chosen. Amen? As Haman ended up hanging on his own gallows by his own noose, so shall the Mueller investigation and the Democrats and the deep state and the top of the FBI and the CIA, so shall they all hang on the nooses that they have built and prepared for President Trump. They themselves will hang on that very road. Hallelujah. Amen. It's coming. Haman's son, sons too. It's coming. And his sons too. Yeah. Haman and his whole household. Yes. We need a purging. Yes. We need a purging of the FBI top echelon. We need a purging of the CIA top echelon. We need a purging of the Justice Department, all the top echelon. They need to hang. Now, maybe not literally, but maybe literally. I'm telling you, some of these crimes. Uh, uh, I, I'm not an attorney. I don't know all the all the the the, the right. Uh, legal uh, definitions, but there are certain crimes that are federal crimes against the Constitution, against our nation, that are punishable by death. Yes, yeah, well, some of you, some of you ones in the military know that. But what was that, Jim? Treason. Treason. It's Hang him high. Shoot him. <laughs> it's punishable by death. Yeah. So yes. we'll see. We'll see. But it's coming because why? If, if they would have left well enough alone. If they would have accepted our votes for Donald Trump yeah. and would have accepted him as the President of the United States yeah. and got on their merry ways, he wouldn't drink their lattes and, and, and go over to, to their little island. Where's that island up in New York that they all go to? The, not the Hamptons. What's it called, honey? Long Island. Where, um, who, who, who's, who's, the, who's the Jewish liberal lawyer from Harvard that's supporting Trump? That's like Martha's Vineyard. What's it called? Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, there you go. They should have just gone to Martha's Vineyard and drank their little lattes and went up to their mansions in Hollywood and zipped it and been, everything would have been fine. Oh, no. They couldn't. Oh, no. They had to say impeach 45. They had to say, we're going to impeach him. We're going to put him in jail. We're going to make up something. We're going to frame him. Oh, we're not going to accept the outcome of the duly elected election. We're not going to accept the vote of these deplorables, these ones who cling to their Bibles and to their guns. Oh, we cannot let them decide the future of our nation. Those idiot moron Christians. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to fight tooth and nail. And we're going to build a gallows to hang them. And guess what? They're going to hang on the gallows they built because they wouldn't let it go. They wouldn't let it go. They wouldn't let it go. 
Trump would have been fine letting it go. Trump would have been fine letting Hillary go on her merry way. But now, they've, they've made up Russia collusion when they are the ones who colluded with Russia to give away 20% of our uranium in exchange for $145 million paid into the Clinton Foundation, plus another $500,000 paid to Bill Clinton for a 20-minute speech. They are the ones who colluded with the Russians to get this dossier that's all fake and made up. It's not even from real Russian sources, but they claim that it was and fed that to the Justice Department to lodge a fake investigation against our president. They're the ones who colluded. Therefore, the very thing that they've tried to go after Trump for, they're going to jail for. Amen. Amen. They're going to jail for this. Amen. You cannot collude with a foreign government and pay them. Hillary Clinton paid them six or seven or eight million, and the Democratic National Committee paid them another six or seven or eight million. You got about 13 million dollars they pay for Russian information. That is proof. That's also a crime. They're going to jail. They're going to jail just as soon as somebody replaces Jeff Sessions. And I nominate Louis Gohmert of Texas. I don't know if you've seen Louis Gohmert of Texas on TV. That man is a bulldog. He gets it. He knows all the facts. He's in Congress. He's on the Intelligence Committee. He's already, he's, I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the indictments already made up. Trump ought to appoint him Attorney General. Or Rudy Giuliani. Either one of them. He just met with the bikers for Trump yesterday. He really? He did what? Met with the bikers for Trump. Oh, really? Out at his resort in uh, his, his, uh, his golf course in New Jersey. Maybe they're going to ride into D.C. <laughs> Take it over. Yeah, the war it's going to be exciting. we got the midterm election coming up. We're going to vote. You're going to vote, right? Yeah. Amen. Come on, turn. we got to yeah. vote. <coughs> we got to keep Republicans in there. I don't care if you hate them. If you hate them, vote for them anyway. Because <laughs> they're Republican, right? You yeah. cannot let any Democrats take any congressional yeah. Senate seat. Yeah. Right? We just yeah. can't. Right? We'll eventually get them all purged out and get good ones in there. For now, they just got to have an R. Right? Because if you got an R, you got to kind of support President Trump because he's doing so great. Yeah, that's right. That's so funny. I love it. Two Republicans vying, vying in, the, in, the, in the preliminaries for the thing. One's like, I love Trump. The other's, I love Trump more. I'm for Trump. I'm for Trump more. I'm pro Trump. I'm pro pro Trump. I love it. <laughs> I was for Trump before you were for Trump. <laughs> Did you see the, the congressman from Florida? I gotta get this. We gotta show us in church, Ken. We gotta find us on YouTube. Congressman from Florida, he's got an ad. I, I, is he running for governor? I, I, I think he might be running for Senate or governor. I don't know. He's either running for governor or Senate or something. And Trump has already given him his endorsement. Does anybody know his name? No. I don't know. Trump's already given him his name. He cut a TV commercial. And it starts out with his wife. His wife comes out and goes, My husband not only has received endorsement from President Trump, but he's also a great father, too. A great husband and a father, too. And it shows him with his kids. And it's a little girl. Little girl. And a little girl, a little toddler, how old? Two? Two year old little girl carrying a block. He goes, Build that wall. Build that wall. <laughs> Build that wall, honey. And then, and then this little three-year-old boy, four-year-old boy is reading the book. It's, it's, it's the art of the deal. It's the book, the art of the deal. It's reading to his little four-year-old boy. Goes, and then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I like that part. That's my favorite part. It is the cutest, funniest commercial I have ever seen in my life. It is so cool. He's gonna win. He's gonna win big time. Anyway. Lori! Excited. Amen. I wish it would happen faster. I don't know if it's gonna be a year, two years. It's gonna happen. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. These people have to be held accountable. 
for what they've got. I agree. Right? Otherwise, we'll never have faith in the FBI, in the Justice Department, in the CIA. We'll never have faith restored in our law institutions of law enforcement. These are the most powerful institutions in our government. These are the ones that enforce our laws. They have the power to wear a gun and to put handcuffs on you. And if we can't trust them, then we don't have a nation. We have to trust that they are good and honest and just and, 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 and impartial. Right? And the only way that can happen is all the guilty ones, we all know their names, they've got to be held accountable. What's held accountable mean? Like Judge Janine says, haul them out in handcuffs. <laughs> That's what accountability looks like. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. It, it's got to happen. The other thing that's got to happen is these big social media giants have got to be transformed to change from anti-Christ to pro-Christ. Anti-America to pro-America. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Anti-Republican to pro-Republican. The days of the Democratic Party are over. The Democratic Party is dead. It will never, ever, ever rise again because it is anti-God and anti-Christ and God has shown up on the stage and God has said enough is enough is enough is enough. I'm taking back America for my son Jesus Christ. And those who oppose me, look out. Your arms are too short to box for God. The fires that were up in the north of California mm -hmm. have now merged into something called the mes mezzalina or something. It is now the largest fire in California history. Right. It was the sixth largest. And then it was the fourth largest. Now it's the largest in history. And a new one has broken out down south I don't understand this. They call it the Holy, holy Fire. fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy Fire. Yeah. Like what? Holy. It's, wow. it's like they're admitting it. Yeah. It's Holy Fire. Yeah. That's perfect, right? Yeah. Who would do that? Yeah. Why would you yeah. name it Holy yeah. Fire? Yeah. They wouldn't. Everybody knows what holy means. Yeah. yeah. And you're calling it holy fire. To put the blame on Christians. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so. Exactly. But, but like, like Hebrews says, power. it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That's For right. our God is a consuming fire. Amen. 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 Well, we're turning California red. For Trump. Yeah. We're turning it from blue to red for Trump. Yes, this November, I'm believing for an increase in congressional and maybe even Senate seats out of California for Trump. And in 2020, California, we're going to flip it from blue to red. It's going to vote red for Trump. California's going to light up red. It has the largest number of uh, um, electoral college votes, right? Trump is going to, he's going to win like 400 and something to 100 and something. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who they're going to run against them in 2020. They have nobody. They've got nobody. Well, Al Sharpton put it. They've got nobody. Al Sharpton. He declared. He declared? Yeah. Go for it. They've got, they've got nobody. Yeah. They don't have one person that makes any sense. Think about it. Who they got? Nothing. Yeah. They got nobody. That Albanetti guy's gonna run now. He says. Oh, was that Mary? Albanetti, that that the, that that porno star lawyer. Which? Oh yeah. Oh, he's gonna run. He's yeah. He went to oh, Iowa oh, to see oh, if he. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh the that's funny. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. Let's hope he does. This is Patriot Preacher, Jim Alderdice, pastor of New Life Worship Center Church of God in Peoria, Arizona. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it. 
Click the little notification bell so you get updates when we post new ones. And if you're in the Phoenix metro area, we invite you to join us Sundays and Wednesdays for the revival. Check our website, patriotpreacher.org, for service times and the address. And we invite you also to help us take back America for Jesus Christ by joining us in financial partnership to help us produce our Bible mercials. This is the vision God has given me, to create TV, radio, and social media ads that preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, confronting our culture that Jesus is the only way, the only truth, the only life, that America needs to repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to get saved. We're also going to focus these commercials on banning the lie of evolution from our public schools. Our kids are being lied to. And we're going to confront that and, and get evolution banned from our public schools. That diabolical, unscientific, false religion, fairy tale lie. We're also going to see that abortions get banned. We're going to stop the murder of our children in America. It must stop immediately. We're also going to overturn homosexual marriage. Amen? And we're going to see that the Democratic Party is destroyed by proving that anyone who votes for any Democrat is voting for the devil. And you will be held accountable to God on the day of judgment and be sent to hell and burned alive forever because the Democratic Party is in alignment with the will of the devil and contrary to the Bible and the will of God. So all Americans must repent, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. And this will bring revival and restoration to our nation. So please consider just a small gift of even 5 or $10 a month to help us produce and broadcast our Bible commercials on TV, radio, and in the social media to confront the culture with the truth of God's Word and Jesus Christ. Thank you, and God will bless you richly.